Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're going to be piecing together um, Buzz Lightyear and socks. So we're going to do some fun things today. I'm finally going to use the lights from Chibitronics, which I'm super excited to try. Um, you're going to be seeing it for the first time, <laughs> and I'm going to be working on it for the first time outside of the training session that they gave me. So um, before we get to that, though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It's going to be a lot of fun following me on my channel. Um, you know, it's just going to be me working and trying to figure things out. So anyway, I hope you join me on that journey and thank you for subscribing. All right, let's get started. So I have not done this. This is all just in my head. So with Buzz Lightyear, what I want to do is we all know how to assemble him. So the different part is going to be, um, there's a, there's a part on his like little jacket that has the three buttons and I want them to light up. So we are gonna be incorporating the lights from Chibitronics, not the lights from Amazon because they're bulky. And I wanted to have an easy way to turn on the lights and turn off the lights. So what we need to do though, is we need to assemble the, the uh, black background in order to run the, the, I don't even know what you call it. Hold on, let me pull it out. <laughs> <clears throat> the conductive fabric tape. <laughs> so all of this you can get on Amazon. Let me show you what it looks like so that you know what I'm talking about. So this is the one that I built, the sample one. So there is a positive line and it hits the positive side of the light, okay? There's the negative and this goes out over here. So when I have this line touch, this line's gonna touch both the negative lines. The negative line going to the battery, and then of course the, um, the positive line is already touching the battery. So when I do that, the light turns on, which it's kinda hard to see right now. But, um, so basically you would put your car down like this, and when you press here, that light would come through, right? So that's one way of doing it. Let me show you another one. So in this case, I have two lights. I have my negative lines touching the battery. I have my positive line running around, but it doesn't necessarily touch the battery yet. When I fold it over and it touches the battery, both my lights turn on. So that's, this is the one, well, they're both gonna be the same, where we're going to try to flip it over and touch and make it work. <laughs> so, okay. Um, let's put this down right side up because you know I need to do it that way otherwise I get super super confused um, I am super excited to do this one because like I said this is all in my head and I think it's going to work but we shall see as we work through this thing we're gonna run those lines which I'm super excited about so here's the thing I don't know if you're um, I think right now I would say that Chibitronics and I could be wrong but it seems to me that um, their customer base is card makers and I'm missing a piece are you kidding me did it not cut give me sorry one second I think I lost that piece I don't think I ever cut it, so I'm gonna to need to cut it. But in the meantime, we don't need that piece in order for this to work. So, um, this is where the three colors go. And then we're gonna have the battery up here. This is the green piece. And so, um, let's just piece this together. We're gonna to be missing this piece. It's not a big deal. So I'm gonna flip this over and start taping it down. Um, so, as I was saying, um, I think that card makers have been using the lights more than anyone else. And so, you know, they're assembling and making like really cute cards like this one where it lights up and it makes sense. Like, um, I mean, it's just so cool. So I really want to incorporate this here, um, you know, where it makes sense. And then also... I just think it's, you know, I'm still wrapping my head around it <laughs> on how it works. And, you know, it takes me a second to like, okay, wait, which wire, you know, does it go? Um, 
but I just think it's really cool for kids to be using it and incorporating it in their like um, play and like creative, you know, whatever they build. So I'm super excited to, you know, get this and work with my daughter to see how she's gonna like use the lights and light up things. Um, so, all right, when we're putting together the black background, as you can see, I'm doing, I'm putting two pieces together at one time, right? So I wanna make sure that I lift one piece up, push it against the other one so that I know I'm getting like a really good close, um, you know, piecing it back together because what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to hide all the seams as possible. There's going to be seams. We're making a 30 inch character and our paper is 12 by 12. It's going <laughs> to, it's going to have seams. There's no way around it, but we are incorporating everything that we know in order to make it as seamless as possible. And that includes like right now, you see how the four corners are meeting up. That's from using the grid of squares. It's nice to use it because then you can kind of, you know all the corners, like all the pieces butt up to each other and it's easier to make it seamless when you know where it's gonna be and you know what you're dealing with. Um, the other thing is, you know, the type of materials you're gonna use. So, you know, use glitter cardstock when it makes sense. Make sure that your seams are where, you know, you know it's gonna be covered by other pieces. So I'm taping quite a bit right here. And I almost feel like, well, I'll tape this one over here. Or you know what, I'm gonna leave these two pieces off because we don't really need it right now. This tutorial is just to work the lights because you've seen me put pieces down a bazillion times. So um, I'll still do it though. I will still continue to, <laughs> to put the pieces down you know, in other projects, but I feel like for this one, the main thing is the lights. Now, I sliced these out so that I knew where the pieces were gonna be so that I can build that connection. But it will be easier for us, I'm gonna put down this over here, just so that we don't have any empty space and that the, um, that the conductive tape will have uh, a background for it to, to tape onto, to stick onto. So. I'm going to just flip this over for now and I'm gonna tape over those empty, those blank spots. And this is all gonna be covered with our foam board. So it's not a big deal that this, you know, that it looks like this. Okay, and then we're gonna cover up this piece right here. And hopefully what I what I have in my head <laughs> is gonna work. Um, I'm excited, I'm a little bit worried, but you know, we'll work through it. Okay, so, and let me give you a glimpse of, let's see if I, how can I do this? Um, okay, I'm gonna minimize this for a second, okay? Oops. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, I'm like, what happened to my, okay. So, these are the three lights that I was talking about. Those are the three um, that I'll show you in a second when I flip it back. Um, I'm gonna have the lights underneath here. I'm gonna run the conductive tape all the way to this green piece. And this green piece, I made two copies, so one, is gonna be green down because we don't want it to show black, right? But I'm gonna have another one sitting on a wobbly. So when we push down on it, it sort of activates everything and the lights will turn on. So, um, so we've got that connection there, okay? All right, so I'm gonna flip it over. <laughs> now that we know what we're doing, okay? And so you have that image. Let me flip this. Yeah, we're gonna get started. It's fun, right? Um, we all know how to do off the mat characters, but let's make it extra, extra. Okay, so here are our pieces. So let's think about this. We wanna run, so I'm gonna get my, um, my tape, which, what happened to it? Sorry, I moved things around and I guess I can open this one, but I had one, give me just one second. 
I'm losing my mind. Okay, I'll just open this one because I'm gonna get to it eventually. Um, okay. I meant now. Now I'm wondering where the heck it is. Um, <laughs> So what I want to do is, and you can get this on Amazon, um, I will link it in the description, but this just streamlines it. I don't know, you know, sorry, it's, it's less bulky and, um, you know, with the Amazon lines, I mean, there, there are going to be times that there are good reasons to use both of them. So I think I'll still be using the other ones, but for something that like this is really cool because it's not gonna be bulky. You would ha I won't have to deal with the foam board, like get around the foam board and having the lights stick out. This one's gonna be really cool because you press down as opposed to pulling out the tabs. This is more like you're activating lights. So I think it just works really, really well with this. And he's an astronaut and it's just cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking that each one would have two lights so i'm gonna have six lights total so with six lights i need to run four lines because i need a positive and a negative for each one okay so all right so let's do that um okay let's see what i so i'm thinking i'm gonna run it like this and over here okay i think i've got it Right, I'm gonna... Like I said, I've done the sample and then they ha they had a, a mini like workshop that I was able to join. Um, other than that, <laughs> this is sort of, I mean, this is my third time doing it. So I am super excited. Okay. So the line has tape, right? So I'm gonna pull it off completely and I'm gonna run it through like this. So, and the tape is really cool. You can kind of, you know, like I'm gonna twist it so that I can run it this way and I'm just gonna have it go up to here. Um, And I think I'm going to add my battery down now. So give me a second. Gosh, I'm like losing my head. Um, where did I just put all my batteries? Oh, here it is. Gosh, I'm telling you. Oh, here is my tape. It was in here. It was never even on the table. <laughs> all right, these are the batteries that we're going to use. Um, actually, I have one that's already kind of open. So... I mean, it's just such a fun thing. Like, I love that it's, I don't know, it just feels like I'm doing good stuff here. All right, so, so the batteries, this is the plus side. Um, so I'm just gonna put it down like this and make sure that this runs through it. Okay, so that's going to be, that's gonna be one of my lines. All right, that's gonna be my positive line. So, okay, so let's do this. So on these lights, there's a positive and a negative. I know you can't see right here, it's super small, but you can see it on the actual piece. So this is my positive line because it's touching the positive. I'm going to make sure that this runs like this so that it's touching the positive. And then what I think is going to work is because we're doing a set, right? Um, let me pull this out first. Okay. 
So these are positive with the negative here. So then I'm thinking I'm gonna run the negative down here with the positive facing out because then I can maybe reuse that line. I, I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, so that's that. Okay, um, shoot, I needed to run my other line, so. Which I'm wondering, hmm. I'm going to lift this up for just one second and put down my other line first. So, okay. all right, I think I got it. Um, I'm sure some of you guys are thinking, do we need this? We don't need any of this stuff, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna run it like this. Okay. This one, I don't want it to touch the battery. So I'm gonna cut this off. Because this is my negative and this is touching the positive. So, put this down for now. All right, so now I can put back all of these pieces. So here's my positive and my negative. That's one light. Light number two. Oh, you know what? Then I don't think there's not enough room to do the other to do another light. So, all right, so let's just test this really quickly and see if this works. So if I had this down and I go to touch, uh-oh. Okay, so let me think about this. So this is my negative line. I need a negative line that goes to my battery. So I, do I need it to be like this? No. Okay. Let me add another line. So this one needs to touch my battery. Okay, I think I got it, hold on. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Because the negative doesn't touch the battery at all. So I'm gonna do it this way. All right, so now if I touch this, Doesn't that work? That goes to oh. Does it need to go under? Okay. Sorry guys. Um working it. Oh yes! Okay, so duh. The negative needs to go underneath the battery, right? Because on the negative side. So now, when, and the reason why you wanna do this, why you don't wanna connect the negative sign directly to here, because if this line was always touching this, then it's always active. Your battery's gonna run out. Whereas now, when I push down, let me see, does that work? So, the battery is only being used when I'm activating it. So that's gonna be our lever. That's why we need that little line out there. So, okay, let's do the next round. Okay, so same thing. I think I got it, I think I got it. <laughs> There's enough room to run 
I'm going to do the same thing where the negative, I'm not going to have the negative touch. So let's see. I'm going to run it down here. I hope you think this is exciting. <laughs> let's see. I'm going to run it like this. So my pause, so this is my negative line. No, this is my positive line. So it's gonna go on top of the battery. My bottom one, I think I'm good. Okay, so this one I'm gonna run across. This is my positive line, okay? So now I'm gonna run my negative. My negative, I'm not gonna have it touch anything because it's gonna be activated when it touches that middle line. All right, <laughs> I'm talking my way through this. Like, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Isn't this fun, though? I feel... I don't know, if I can get a kid interested in this, I am going to be so happy. All right, so this one, I'm not gonna have it touch. And I think it'll work. Because, why? Oh no, I do need it to go all the way up there, shoot. Um. I need it to be closer. I wonder if that will work. All right, we'll see. So let's put down our, and if it doesn't, I'm not gonna push down too hard right now. So here's my positive and my negative. I'm going the opposite direction. I need one more. And then I have my little strip. So if I touch, so let's see. It did, look, it turned on all of them, but this, oh, there. Okay. So I wonder why that one doesn't Oh, there. Okay. So, oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's put down these little guys and see what it looks like. Okay. So, um, this one is going to go like this. And all of this is going to be covered. So, I'm going to put a foam square. Let's get it so that they're not sitting so close to the thing. Let's see how that looks. The next color is the green one and it goes like I don't know. Are you as are you as excited as I am? I am so excited right now. Okay, and don't worry about those conductive tape lines. Um, I will show you in Design Space, but we've got a piece that goes over it, so it's gonna go like this, so we won't see that at all. Okay. And our red, and the red goes like that. Oh, 
Okay, so let's try it again so we can see what it looks like with that over it. So we've got to make sure. What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna take off this for a second. Why aren't my lights working? So it needs to touch. Oh, there. So you see how the green and the red light up? <laughs> okay, so it's super Oh, there. All right. So let me put this back down. Yay, it lights up. <laughs> All right. So this little guy. I didn't do it right. Okay, I forgot to put this piece down first. All of this tape is supposed to be on top of this green one. Hold on. I you know, I'm a hot mess right now. This is what happens when, when you try something for the first time. It's just going to happen like this. So I'm going to pull all of this out. Let's see if that's going to work. Okay, let me put this down. because this little guy is gonna sit on top and it's gonna have that piece. So, oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if I can redo this. So it's gonna go like, Oops, hold on. Nope, that's totally on. That should be enough. I feel like some of our lights should work. Should I rerun the wires? Now that we know how it works, okay, let me pull this off. But it doesn't make sense. It should work. So hold on. Let me see if this is. Oh, nope. Why is 
Is it not working? All right, I'm gonna rerun this, I know. And we're gonna have to glue this down. I feel like it should work. So where did I go wrong? Um, where's my little piece? So it worked and then it didn't. So I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. Like that should light up this and this should light up that. Okay, let's move this down a little bit. There's that one. Okay, so one light went on. I saw it. I did it. <laughs> what is going on? Why? Did you see it flicker? Is it too big? Okay, let me put it on. I know, this is, <laughs> this is craziness right now. All right, let's see. Okay, so that light, did you see? Can you see? Yeah, so that worked. That works. That does work. What the heck? Okay, so that works perfectly right there. So hold on. I'm going to put this down. Okay, so hold on. Let's put down all our colors again. I don't know what I did. Yay! Okay, so this is down. Let's see. Is this light on? This light is on, but it's really hard to see. All right, so this guy is on exactly where it needs to be. So I'm gonna trim this, the yellow post-it note. I'm gonna put this on a wobbly so that it hangs up here like this. So, give me a second. It's gonna be on like this. So it's kind of sitting up, and then when we're ready to activate, yay, we push down on here. Oh my God, it works. <laughs> yay! <laughs> All right, so now we know, right? We um. You have to make sure that your positive battery lines run over the positive side. The negative lines run underneath. These three have to interact with this guy in order for the battery to hit the negative and the positive for the lights to turn on. All right, we are gonna do an easier project after this, but I hope that makes sense. I can't wait for you to see the final pictures of everything. Um, it will be on my website, so theuselesscrafter.com on a full blog post and I will be taking lots of pictures so that you can see what this looks like. All right, thank you for 
following along. Uh, comments, questions, I expect a lot. So um, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Let me know if there are other ideas that you have where we can incorporate this. Um, but I am so stinking excited. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you guys next time.